Hey there. Art thou troubled? Music will calm thee. That is the uh, text of a uh, an aria by Handel. Actually, it's uh, not the text he wrote himself. It was added by someone else later on. Uh, but um, it sort of applied to the uh, pen I'm going to review today. Because today I will talk about the platinum music pen. Now, you may wonder why is it called a music pen? Is it, uh, you know made to celebrate the works of a composer or whatever. No, 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 no. That is not the case. This pen is called Music Pen because it has a music nib. And that's a specific type of nib, and we'll talk about that a bit later on. Okay, so let's have a look at the, the box. A simple cardboard box which says a platinum. It opens up to reveal another box of some type of faux leather. Uh, looks, looks nice, smooth to the touch nothing too fancy and in that is some stuff the thing that's almost falling out is the uh, converter which I've already inserted into the pen so there's nothing in there there is the fairly standard use and care guide and stuff on you know how to fill pens and use them and of course there is the pen itself. Now there are two versions of this pen. This is not one of those boxes you can open up by the way. This is all that's in there. There are two versions of this pen. Uh, there is a, I think a rhodium trimmed version and there is a gold trimmed version. And I decided to go for gold. I thought that had a nice classical look. And considering it's a, a music pen, uh, I thought that would make sense. Okay. So what about this music nib? What's so special about that? Well, this is quite simply a nib that has three tines. Usually a nib has two, but a music pen has three. So you have two slits and two breather holes. And the nib itself is a bit broader than usual. It's a kind of stub, uh, which means it's not rounded. It's straighter, you know, sort of squarish, um, and the idea is that with such a nib it's easy to create music notes, because you can make fine lines for the sticks of the notes, there's probably a technical term for that, although I love music, I'm not familiar with producing music, and you get this little thing, you, you the, the dot you make, and that uh, of course has to be thicker, wider. So, this pen should allow one, in theory, to create musical notes with a lot of ease. I was unable to do so, but then again, as I said, I never write music, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm not the best person to try that out. So I'll show you that nib in a second. Uh, for now, let's just let's, let's start by covering the pen. Let's start with the, uh, the, the cap. Um, overall, I think this is a fairly simple design. It's a nice design, it looks classy, but it's, it's not too extravagant. Uh, we, we get uh, a simple cap, a clip, gold trimmed, uh, fairly stiff and springy clip, I think, but it, it works well. A nice little metal ring, um, gold collared, and we have the um, gold ring there, which says Platinum. Hash 3776. That should probably make sense. Uh, at the moment it doesn't make any sense to me. And it says Japan. That that does make sense because the pen is made in Japan. Uh, okay, so that's the cap. The cap is screw-on, which I like. You can't accidentally pull it off. Um, let's keep the nib a secret for now. I'll come back in, that in a second. Uh, to that in a second. So here we have the, the, the barrel. The barrel is resin. It's a, a light pen. It reminded me a little bit of the Namiki Falcon, which also has these gold highlights and it's it's got the, the, the black resin. It's also a fairly light pen. And this one, it's it's light. It doesn't weigh much, but it's it's still pleasant to hold. And uh, then we get another nice little gold ring. So if you get the rhodium trimmed version, then all of these details will be more uh, silver colored. Okay, the famous nib. So, I'm not sure whether my camera will pick this up very well. Uh, I'll, I will upload some uh, high resolution still so that you get an idea of what makes this nib so special. I hope you can see it just a little bit that this nib has two uh, two slits and two breather holes and that it is a stub so it is not rounded off as most nibs. It is 
straighter, more cut off, more squarely. Um, the nib itself, 14 karat gold, so yes, it is smooth. Uh, again, it says 3776. I'm ashamed to admit I have no idea what this means. A musical thing, whatever. Okay, it has the platinum logo and it says 14 karat music. That's a good reminder, should you ever forget whether or not this was a music pen, because apparently we cannot count three times. Well, whatever. In any case, nice nib, it, it really is smooth. It's a, it's a really pleasant nib to write with. I'll come back to that in a second, let's cover the pen first. The grip section, smooth plastic, no texture. Uh, it is smooth, it could be a little slippery. Sorry, I said plastic, I, I meant uh, resin, this is resin too. Um, but smooth. It does, it is slightly tapered, and there is this kind of ridge. The gold ring is sort of relieved, so your, your fingers won't slip onto the nib, but this is a smooth uh, grip section. So, I wouldn't have minded if it would have been, it would have had a little bit more texture to it, but it's, it's not a real issue to me. We unscrew the um, barrel, the converter. Uh, this is a, a proprietary uh, platinum converter. What I kind of enjoy is the fact that it fits so well into the section. You see that? It's it's usually, in my experience, converters can be a little you know shaky or rickety, but the fit here is really well. And as you can see, the feed actually sticks out there. And the converter just has a large hole, and it really slides onto the feed. And then it, it doesn't really click in place, but it's on there very securely. So that's a nice touch. I like that. It's uh, it's. I think it's almost impossible to accidentally pull off this conversion. Okay, I'll assemble the pen again. Let's talk about how it writes. The answer is smoothly. This is an extremely smooth pen. One of the smoother ones I have used recently. I really really like it because it is stub-ish. It's one and a half millimeters wide. Uh, it gives you a very nice line variation. I'll do a writing demonstration in a second so you'll be able to see it, but it's smooth. I have the feeling that some italics especially can have a very small sweet spot. and You really have to put that in the paper otherwise it won't write, it will just skip. But with this pen, no matter how you hold it, no matter how you, you angle it, it writes and it writes smoothly. There is no skipping, um, there is no railroading, there's nothing, it's it just beautiful, really smooth. I can really recommend this pen just for that alone. Also, the ink flow is extremely even and consistent, and that is actually the point of the pen and having two breather holes and two of these uh, slits and um, so one it, it, it one should expect it to be very smooth but it, it really is and the, the amount of ink it, it the, the flow is so consistent so even it's really pleasant to use so I was highly pleased with this pen okay so that's it for the pen I like it it's light to my liking, it could have been a bit heavier. I'm not a huge fan of these light pens, and it's on the small side. You see that? For me, as you know, I have large hands, um, but for me, it could have been a bit bigger. So when I use this, I tend to post it, and then there's no problem. This is a nice size, and it's pleasant to hold. So for me that's useful. One minor issue I have is that it is very important to align the cap and the, uh, the the body of the pen well if you want to close it because I probably now uh, they you got it. So now you may be able to see that the cap and the pen are not aligned extremely well, and then some of the threads actually have some purchase and the cap won't. Um, fit all the way down, and the the pen doesn't close very well. Um, you say that close doesn't it doesn't shut very well. It's not a a tight seal between the pen and the cap. So you have to take care with that because I'm not sure whether at some point you may not break something off there. Um, not a big issue. I mean, you 
you always have to take care when you, you put the cap on a pen, you don't want to bend your nib. But still, this in this pen I really noticed that there's a slight tendency for the cap to get stuck. Uh, so, so be a little careful of that should you want one. Apart from that, perfect pen. Um, smooth, good riser, even ink flow, no skipping, uh, very nice. So, highly recommended. Okay, I'll give you a writing sample next and I will upload some high resolution photographs at the end of the writing sample so that you can have a look at the nib and why it is so special. And that's it. So I hope this was useful and um, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Okay, writing with the Platinum Music Nib slash music pen. So what have we got here? The Platinum Music Nib and the Platinum Music Pen. So, here we have a nib with three times two uh, channels uh, and to breathe the holes. So that's the pen. The ink is um, Brange, which is a mix by me. It's neither brown nor orange, so Brange. Um, if you really like it and you ask very nicely, I might give you the recipe. In any case, What's so special about this nib? Well, this. Any stub nib will give you that, any italic will give you that, but this pen is really made to give you that amount of line variation. So, if you wouldn't be a total, um, you know, sad amateur like me, you might be able to use this pen to create musical notes, um, something that actually makes sense, not something like this. But as you can see, it's fairly easy to create a broader patch of ink, then create a, well, I wouldn't say a hairline, but at least a thin line, and to, to connect that to other stuff and, you know, get line variation. So, yes, laugh at me, I'm not a producer of music, so I cannot, you know, draw any musical notes. So how does the pen write? The answer is smoothly. There is no skipping, whoops, no skidding. And of course, during your writing, you can sort of exploit this line variation thing. Giving you a flex like effect. Does the nib flex? Not really. Even though it has three times, it will not flex any more than a regular nib would. In fact, it's fairly unflexible. Nothing wrong with that because due to the shape you'll get line variation anyway. And as I just showed you, you can exploit that a little bit to create wider and narrower lines. Okay, now because it's quite broad and because of the um, two breather holes and the two channels, you can lay down a large amount of ink extremely consistently. You see that? There is no skipping, there is no skidding, it just fills up the paper, it covers it with ink, just like that. And um, it's wet too. So, a nice writer. You can even write quickly. I'm not trying to be legible there, this is not even a word. Um, just quickly, and as you can see, the pen doesn't skip, meaning it has a good feed. And of course, it has to breathe the holes to channel, so it should really uh, work well. 
Maybe I shouldn't say two channels, by the way. It has two slits. I'm not absolutely sure whether this feed has two channels. Okay. So, we have a nice pen that writes smoothly, writes nicely. Uh, it doesn't really matter how you hold it. You see that? I'm really twisting it around no matter how I hold it. Well, here, it skips a little bit. Even there, there is still a line. So, some of these italics have a very small sweet spot, and you really have to, I don't know, hold it like this to be able to write well, or angle it very specifically. Well, in this case, it's not really an issue. So this truly is a well-made and, and flexible pen. I don't mean flexible as in flex nib. I mean it's flexible in the way you can hold it, and it will still write. So, that is the um, Platinum Music nib. I hope this was useful. I thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.